Hey guys, this is Rosalyn and this is Crystal Ortiz. We are at my Divio and I'm starting a new segment called Hashtag Ask Roz. And the reason why I wanted to start this is because a lot of the times I can't get to a lot of the questions at panels or workshops, at showcases with a lot of you and you DM me messages or questions, whether it's about career, about marketing, even about relationship stuff, etc. So I wanted to answer some of these questions on camera and it was perfect that we have Crystal Ortiz here. She's actually a winner from our short story long contest. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was on Drama's podcast, and we were talking about, you know, my long story. Um, and at the end of it, we talked and said, for anybody that could post their comments, because I wanted to know how you guys were inspired by his different podcasts as I was. So for the contest, we actually had people comment on what podcasts were the most inspiration inspirational to us and Crystal you gave a really great answer uh, tell us about number one how did you even discover dramas podcast and then you know what what made you what made you comment that day well a good friend recommended the podcast to me because I've always been a huge fan of dramas yeah and did you watch um, MTV I used to watch him on yeah. MTV on Robin Big on Fantasy Factory right. and um, he actually used to work upstairs of a building I used to work at many years ago really? and a couple of times I saw him on the elevator and I was like oh my god with his dog and yeah. I was like oh my god that's drama but I never I never said drama if you're watching or Danny any of you guys she was actually in the building I love their office now it's, it's so fun they actually get their nails done each week and I the guys get barber yeah. every week I'm like man we gotta make our, our office that's more so cool yeah and so I've always also been a big fan of their clothing line, um, Young and Reckless. So when my friend recommended the podcast, I decided to check it out and I immediately fell in love right. with it was amazing. If you haven't listened to Short Story Long, so he actually interviews a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of you know artists and co comedians, etc. But for we were talked for a good close to two hours. He actually gets people to tell their real stories, which you can't really hear on normal interviews because they're usually just a couple of minutes. So shout out to Drama for putting in over a hundred hours, over three million downloads, and. We have Crystal here. I loved your answer, but you you basically listen you know each week because you pull inspiration for your own company. She started a blog called Young Long, YoungLosAngeles.com, specifically dedicated to people dealing with mental health issues. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, so tell us more of how you are inspired by the different podcasts, and then what brought you to create Young Los Angeles and what it actually is now. So listening to the podcast, it really helped me to kind of see how I could create something that I was passionate about. Listening to different stories, I think a couple of the most memorable ones for me I had mentioned was um, Kevion, Kevion, who was amazing, Hi, and he <laughs> gave so many good tips yeah. just about, in a sense, about mental wellness, yeah. which is what my blog is about. Mm -hmm. And um, then when I listened to your story, being, being a woman, being an entrepreneur, being so successful at such a high level, it was that extra push that I needed to finally launch something like my website, youngLosAngeles.com, that was really about my passion. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to, and um, listening to the podcast and listening to the way that you describe step-by-step step kind of how you did your journey really just inspired me to finally take that step and take little tips from all of the different podcasts. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. That's an honor. I didn't even pay her to say that. That was awesome. Well, that's part of the reason why we're here. So one of the prizes was you actually get to shoot a video profile. My Divio stands for My Discovery Video. We're the largest network of video profiles in the world. And uh, we actually shot hers today. And what I loved about her story um, you know, it was that you actually had personal experience which brought you to be passionate about your career. And I think a lot of us go through that. So my story was I started out as a DJ. I wanted to be a radio DJ until I heard that you couldn't pick what songs you could play on the radio. So I was like, who wants to do that? <laughs> but tell us a little bit about your experience and what, dro what drove you passionate about working in, in, into mental health that you talked about in your Divio profile as well. So I shared that I had struggled with different types of mood disorders and depression and addiction and substance abuse and I was fortunate enough to get the help that I needed to really overcome those battles and 
I think that out of our darkness comes our light. And I think that for me, it ultimately gave me my purpose. Yeah. So in going through that, I really dedicated my life and um, my energy to helping other people that struggle with mental illness and these types of, of struggles. I think that's awesome because me personally, I've dealt with mental health issues. And somebody asked me, this is perfect timing on hashtag Escaraz, Y-E-L-T-S-S underscore is his name. He said, did you have anxiety in your early 20s? Because I'm 20 and I'm really anxious. I don't want to be a failure. And that's a really good question. I actually had my first anxiety attack when I was 28 years old. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what it was. I was, uh, I was at Kanye, I had, I had a couple of listening sessions. So Kanye West had a listening session, E40 had a listening session. And the next day I had to fly out to the BET Hip Hop Awards because we were giving Drake the Best New Artist Award. And I was really stressed out. Yeah, it sounds amazing now, right? But at that time I was like, oh my God, I'm so stressed out. I I wasn't sleeping. I would go into the office from, I would drive two hours because I lived in Orange County. I would drive to El Segundo, the MySpace office, or at two hours and then be in the office till about six or seven and then be in the nightclubs from nine o'clock till 1 a.m. going to all these listening sessions, these clubs, trying to get everybody to utilize MySpace. So my heart, I drank five Red Bull that day and which adds to it, right? <laughs> Diet adds to anxiety and to health, which I didn't know. And I had my first anxiety attack. It was so embarrassing because my, I felt like I had a pain in my chest and I couldn't really breathe. And I wrote a letter to my uh, coworker, Isaac. I said, my heart hurts. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so he wound up calling 911 and they brought me to Cedar sinai and they checked my blood pressure. It was like 192 over 100. And um, I just kept thinking the next day I had to fly out. I had to fly out. And I wound up um, getting out of the hospital. I got on the plane. I had a couple more anxiety attacks on the plane because once you have an anxiety attack, you, the, you have anxiety not wanting to have an anxiety attack. So I actually didn't even wind up going to the Hip Hop Awards, unfortunately. We had produced that show with Lloyd, uh, my friends Randy and Mike, and Mike actually produced the show for me. And I stayed in the hotel room the entire time. So to answer your question, I didn't experience it in my early 20s. I experienced it more in my late 20s because I was working myself so hard and not taking any steps back and not realizing you have to, like, just like you have to take a shower every day, you have to take a shower for your head. Otherwise, you're going to have so much going on. And I think at 20 years old, what piece of advice would you give to a 20-year-old that is fearing you know, anxiety and fearing failure and letting them know that it's normal to have these anxious experiences. But what would you say if that was a potential client of yours, if they were going through these anxious feature, anxious uh, experiences at such a young age? Absolutely self-care. And I think you just said it. Everything contributes to our anxiety levels, our energy levels, our happiness levels. Yeah. So diet, exercise, mm -hmm. sleep, all of the basics that anything that you find happiness or joy to rev that up yeah. when you're starting to feel anxious because that little bit of happiness will help replace some of that anxiety. Yeah. So whether it's sending somebody a text message, yeah. reaching out to somebody, uh, having some type of, of a tree or like a nutritional go-to, something to just help alleviate the focus of the anxiety right. and redirect it to something that will release it or relieve it. But so that's so true because I didn't realize that you had to have balance. And I think for eight years, I was solely focused on my career. You know, as soon as I learned about the music industry, I just interned everywhere and just tried it. Like, my whole life was just work. You know, I wasn't in a relationship. So I started going, getting massages. I started getting, yes. doing yoga. I took off like a month or two from work. So I, I think now I'm able to balance. And when I experience those same experiences and that anxiety, I step back and I can see what it is. Um, I meditate. I, you know, do those different things that help you, you know, clear your mind, like you said. And I think what we have, what we should address too, um, for, for, what's his name? Yelts <laughs> underscore is that at such a young age, you're going to go through anxiety, but you can't fear failure because, you know, my friend Observe Good, he's actually J. Cole and Trey Songz' videographer. He gave me this and it says faith over fear. I love that. Right? Mm -hmm. Because anxiety is actually two, two things. It could be, it's, it's either flight or, or uh, it makes you fight, fight or flight, right? 
But if you believe, um, it can actually be excitement. So anxiety can be excitement. You're just anticipating and your excitement is just that energy or it could be complete fear. So if you think that you're just excited, it'll actually push that energy into positive things. So start thinking about your first steps. Now, what was your first step into the mental health industry? Did you also intern or did you, did you go to college? What, what was your first step? Because mine was being a DJ and being a promoter, which I talked about on the Short Story Long podcast, but what was your first initial steps into your industry? Um, both. So I did take classes so that I could kind of start learning the psychological aspects. And then I also interned um, actually at one of the facilities that I was treated at. They gave me the opportunity to start out um, just kind of helping around on the administrative side and then eventually on the ground level helping with other, other patients that were there. So it, it just um, gave me the experience of seeing the day to day. Yeah. Of the so you got to get hands-on experience mm -hmm. and know if you would like to work in it because you could either do two things you could really love it or you right. could realize that you don't like it so I do think that interning volunteering for events it doesn't have to be a long period of time will definitely give you the experience and that initial first step so if you're only 20 years old you got a long way to go I'm 37 so just think about what you're passionate about learn about the industries that you're in you have YouTube you have Google now study the people that have the careers that you want in the future and learn about their first steps and then just enjoy the process enjoy those different first steps you know I'm, I'm pretty sure now uh, working in your career every day you deal with stresses but you if you reflect back on those early days of why you're passionate about it keeps you going right absolutely you have to draw from that every single day yeah and so now tell us what you do you, you actually mentor and you help people of all ages right yeah so now um, I actually do admissions. Um, I'm an admissions coordinator for a Los Angeles um, inpatient outpatient style mental health facility and I work with people from all over the country from the moment that they initially reach out for help until the moment they actually come to Los Angeles to get help um, and just really working with the families and helping them understand because a lot of our struggles are a family condition. What will people think? Exactly. Yeah and what would advice would you give for somebody that doesn't know who to talk to? and doesn't have anybody to call. Is there a number they can call facil facilities like yours if they don't have anyone around them that they could be supportive? What would be their step? Well, I would say that one of the best resources that is available to all of us um, nationwide is SAMHSA.gov. It's S-A-M-H-S-A dot G-O-V. And that is a website that will connect you with all of the services in your area and there's a lot of services free of charge and just a lot of organizations all you do is type in your zip code and it'll show you what's available close to you all right that's great and so for now for another person asked me do you still have encounter anxiety and of course i do especially bring an entrepreneur and you know walking into the boardrooms or in these meetings i hope my heart always beats and what i used to do i used to just run out and like leave the room and I actually spoke to a counselor um, an anxiety counselor and she said she actually because there were things that would trigger my anxiety it was being in a crowded room it was being in a long line at the grocery store in the middle seat in the movie theater in a boardroom etc so she actually made me do the opposite I had to stay in the room I had to go to a crowded movie theater and sit in the middle and you actually combat the flight or, or fight, and once you realize there's actually no fear, you get over that anxiety. But the more that you escape and that you leave the boardroom or you leave rooms or you leave those tough conversations with your family, it increases the anxiety because it makes you feel like you have something to be afraid of every time you encounter those situations. So thank you so much for being here with us at my DVU. I got a surprise. Um, remember on uh, Drama's podcast, I brought him some stuff, but Drama and his assistant or his sidekick, Danny from Young and Reckless, got me a big package for you as well for Crystal. So I would love for you to open it. <laughs> they do have pizza, big juicy slices, but it's not a pizza. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I love this stuff! So I gave her one of the Mikhail's. Mikhail actually gave me a few extra. So um, if you didn't listen to the podcast, he actually interviews Rob and Big before he passed away. So we're going to give you one of these. Oh and just a bunch of gear I so when you're doing it. your thing, you remember. Ah! Uh, thank you thank guys! You. Thank you! Thank you, Danny! So she got an awesome, Yay. cute sweatshirt. 
This is awesome. I've wanted one of these hats for a really long time. I love this hat. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Shirts. I actually just bought my niece this using the SSL code on youngandrestless.com. Oh, and you get 40% off. I love this. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Guys, Thank so you, Drama. Fun. Yay. I'm Imagine, so, so <laughs> Drama created the line. Just, uh, you, first he started by just selling Drama Beats shirts on eBay and now has created one of the like, most wanted streetwear lines out there. Multi-million, yeah. I'm gonna hang this in my office. <laughs> Thank you, Mixed House, for that. Um, how I wanted to end this as well is that, um, thank you so much for coming in. And thank you so your, much for having me. Your You're profile. such an inspiration to me. And honestly, I'm sure you hear this a lot, but you are so different from all the other entrepreneurs out there because you're just so genuine. And hearing you on that podcast and just messaging with you the last couple of weeks, um, like I really feel how honest you are in everything you do. And I really, really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm definitely honest. I know that I go through anxiety. I know that I have a temper tantrums. Jason and Pro can t tell you about that. But I, I, I like to share those experiences experiences because mm -hmm. I think that we don't really get that you know we don't get that everyone wants this entrepreneur lifestyle but it's not that easy guys <laughs> but the last thing I wanted to answer somebody said um, we watched your TED talk about how to create a powerful video profile but they wanted to know what should actually go in a personal video profile and it's perfect because we just saw crystals today um, and I think uh, to answer that question and I'm going to release it a, a, a video about how to create you know a own personal video profile but I think it's just a couple of things you know you want to keep it short and sweet you want to think if potential clients or potential people you want to work with are watching this so you want to answer you know what's unique about you uh, why did you start your career why did it make you passionate about so somebody else that is dealing you know with mental health issues can watch your video and say like, wow she actually came from experience she's not just the doctor that's prescribing pills but she understands both sides of the fence I think also talking about your career experience your most memorable moments whether it's your education or most importantly your experience so especially numbers and you know I helped 500 patients or I've produced 30 events when people watch that or I sold you know 20 million dollars in houses whatever it is like caveat when people see that fast, they get a recommendation saying, hey, you should talk to Crystal if you're dealing with mental health. You should talk to Kevian if you're doing real estate. Or you should talk to Rosalind in marketing. When they watch that three minute video, they understand why that person referred to you and then they can get to want to work with you faster. And so that's why I think video really expedites that process. And ending the video with, with what you're currently doing and what you want to be doing, so you're putting it out there into the world for potential collaborators. So that's what I really think is important about a video profile. It's why we created the entire platform, my, my Divio, my discovery video, is to really you know, expedite that process of people getting to know each other and people being able to share what, what they are and who they are without having to talk too much. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so now potential clients can just watch this video and get to know who, you, know, know who you are. Or you can walk into a room and get to know somebody really quick without even knowing them by getting that information and, and researching before. So thank you so much to Crystal. Thank you to Young and Reckless and Drama and Short Story Long Podcast uh, and all the other um, people that commented. I love your comments. Continue to DM me your questions, hashtag Ask Roz. Uh, I want to shout out Zach Davenport from, I think he was from Kentucky. Yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. He actually has a clothing line. And Nance, who's going to be featured on our TV show with his music video from North Carolina. He actually did a really good video and got over $10,000 on Kickstarter for that. So stay tuned for more hashtag AskRoz and younglosangeles.com. <laughs>